Hey, Loud Crowd, get your climbing gear ready because we're looking at the Loud Family Tree. Ever wonder what it's like to grow up in a big family? Our class assignment is to do a report on our families. With 10 sisters, I can sum up mine in one word, chaos. We've got a lot of ground to cover, so let's get started with Albert, AKA Pop Pop. He's the father of Rita Loud and the grandfather of the Loud Kids. Well, you kids really made my day. Talk to you soon. Bye, Papa! Oh, oh boy, that was great. Next time I must use my glasses. Pop Pop may be up in the years, but don't let that fool you. He's still quite active. Just ask Lincoln. Taking a quick detour to the other side of the tree, we have the father of Lin Loud Sr., Leonard. Oh, hi, my little minnows. Hey, Gramps, what's up? Leonard, more commonly known as Gramps, is an avid fishing fan, an experienced outdoorsman, and is the current proprietor of Camp Mastodon. Here are your sleeping quarters. But you got all those cabins. My crew sleeps on board, but don't worry, my boat has every creature comfort. Despite his outwardly gruff and tough demeanor, he still manages to be a big softy, just like his son. Poison Ivy! It itches just like I remember! <laughs> I love you, love you so, so much, much Dad! Really. Yep, definitely related. And speaking of his son, skipping down a generation, we have the father of the Loud House, Lynn Loud Sr. Hey, Dad, want to hear some knock knock jokes? Does Cliff poop in my shoes? Heck yes, I do! Lin Sr. is sensitive, yet stern when he needs to be. He also loves to cook and often tests out his unique recipes, either at home or his restaurant, Lin's Table. Looks like you've got a lot on your plate there, Mr. Lau. Why not let us handle the dessert menu? <laughs> Dang exhaust fan! Anyway, these cookies are out of this world! You got yourselves a deal. You know, running a business is a big responsibility. You boys want some pointers? It's not all a piece of cake. Thanks, Dad, but we're all set. Plus, we've got a hot lead on another potential sale. <laughs> Have fun, boys. Oh, ding, ding. Married to Lynn Sr. and the mother of the Loud Kids, we have Rita Loud. Rita is the more level-headed of the two Loud parents, but nevertheless is extremely caring and patient with her kids. How about we do a hang sesh once a month? Just the four of us. We should start right now. Really? I'd love that. Rita is also an aspiring novelist, writes a column for the Royal Woods Gazette, and can even fly a plane. Uh, you sure you know what you're doing? You <laughs> got our whole family in here. <gasps> Except Lily. Ugh. Hey, that one is on all of you. I'm flying the plane here. Mom, you uh see the silo, right? Mom, oh, no! oh! <sighs> Descending down the tree, we have the oldest of the loud kids, Lori. Lori can be temperamental at times, but is very disciplined when it comes to keeping her other siblings in line. Yeah, you learn a few tricks as you get older. Currently, she's attending Fairway University while maintaining a long-distance relationship with her boyfriend, Bobby. Why don't you grab us a table while I park the van? <laughs> BRBB. Be right back. What's the extra B for? Babe. <laughs> Next to Lori, we have Lenny, the second oldest loud child. She's perky, positive, and always has the latest in fashion trends to zhuzh up your look. 
That was a catch. Such a good day. Nice well, I'll be horsewhipped. This is surprisingly airy. Well, thank you so much, Lenny. I'm going to come here for all my fashion emergencies. <sighs> the service here isn't so lousy. And that's high praise coming from Scoots. Always appreciate it. Bye, Scoots. Watch your step with this next one as we make our way to the resident prankster and comedian of the Loud family, Luann Loud. Hey, Lincoln. Want some punch? Sure. Oh! <laughs> Luann is a goofy and fun-loving girl who always has a pun for any situation, much to the chagrin of the rest of her family. Did you guys hear that the lipstick and the eyeliner oh. got into a fight? Don't worry. They'll make up. <laughs> Get it? <sighs> Traveling down the hall, we have the musically gifted and rebellious future rock star, Luna Loud. So many places I want to go, but I'll never get anywhere without some dough. Hey, Loud! I'll pay you just to stop making that horrible racket. Whatever works, Steed. Vacation, all I ever wanted. Luna wasn't always the loudest loud, however. She used to be quite timid and shy. But that all changed when she went to her first rock concert. It was in that moment I realized I was not allowed! Stage die! Hut hut! Look alive, Scrub! Here comes the most athletic and competitive member of the Loud family, Lin Lau Jr. And the Royal Woods Roller Queens have done it again! Oh, 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 we crushed it again! Oh! Mmm, the sweet smell of victory! As already stated, Lynn is the sportswoman of the Loud family. When she's not scoring touchdowns or nailing three-pointers, she's usually roughhousing it with her favorite brother. Sorry, Lincoln. Yeah! Uh, Leonard, Leonard, chicken dinner! <laughs> At least it's not to our faces. <laughs> and speaking of brothers, next we come to the man with a plan himself, Lincoln Loud. Guys, I think I've got the answer. No need. Lisa beat you to it. I've calibrated my time machine to send us back two minutes before Luann overheard us criticizing her. That is pretty good. Small disclaimer, the journey may result in our butts being in front. Lincoln, what's your plan? Lincoln is a kind and good-hearted person, always looking to help out his sisters when in a jam. This is a brake pedal. What does the brake pedal do? White shoes after Labor Day. Ew, stop. Exactly. When he's not playing video games or hanging with his friends, you can usually catch him reading his favorite comic, Ace Savvy. Well, Ace, we've narrowed down the suspects to the card shark, snake eyes, and the old maid. But which one made off with the golden die? It's as clear as the mustache on your face, Jack. Only one of these villains could have done the deed, and that is... My money's on the card shark. Same. The guy never blinks. You just can't trust him. <sighs> Do you feel that chill in the air? That can only be the next person on our tree. The spookiest member of the Loud household, Lucy Loud. Hey, Lou, ah! I might have a tip for you. Really? Wait, why do you want to help? I don't care about being grounded. My life is just an endless mental prison anyway. Lucy may seem macabre, but she's far from one note. She's also very creative when writing poetry, helping Lincoln solve his problems, and watching her favorite show, Vampires of Melancholia. Fight us! Turn us into vampires! We beg thee! Cut! Can you get off my casting director, please? But he's a vampire. Ugh, okay. I know I'm pale and I work for Vampires of Melancholia, but can you spare me the wisecracks? Wait a minute. You guys are filming Vampires of Melancholia? Yes, and you kids are ruining my big break. Confused vampire number seven is the role of a lifetime. After Lucy, we have the first of our twins and the most hands-on of the Loud Kids, Lana Loud. Do you have a sink and some dirt? Are you with the health department? Nope. Then follow me. We'll take it from here. Lana is an animal lover, resident Miss Fix-It, and a renowned dumpster diver. Midge, how much for the half-eaten cheese? It'll make a great centerpiece. If there's a job that requires getting your hands dirty, Lana's got your back. Thank you. Twin sister of Lana and the most luxurious of the Loud Kids, we have Lola Loud. Oil, sweetheart. You're not marinating a chicken. Lola is a beauty queen. Emphasis on queen. She's not afraid to tell you what she wants or how she feels, and is often very vocal about her expectations. I'll show you how it's done. That poem is terrible. I have been more moved by Lynn's farts. Aw, thank you. That said, 
Tread lightly, cross one of her siblings, and you'll face the full wrath of this pageant princess. I need to get that thumb drive back. I beg your pardon. Uh, I almost made a really dumb mistake, so you can just kindly return that. And I'm afraid not. It's our job to choose the right child to be the face of Reiningers, so we have to consider everything, including the contents of this drive. Gimme! Now, Lola, I'm warning you. <laughs> Lola Loud! You are disqualified! I can live with that. Better put on your safety goggles for this next one as we check out the most scientific member of the Loud family, Lisa Loud. What was that? It's science. You wouldn't understand. Lisa is a child prodigy, occasionally testing out her latest experiments on her unsuspecting siblings. Is this safe? In the hands of a skilled professional like me, you have nothing to worry about. Ah! Ah! Dang it! Oopsie daisy, this skilled professional owes you a scrunchie. However, as smart as Lisa is, she often bites off more than she can chew, like when she took everyone back in time. <sighs> Another scientific success without a hiccup. <laughs> what was that? Um, nothing. No one here hiccuped green juice out of their nose. Phew, that was a close one, huh? <sighs> Dang it, Wenny. How in Galileo's micrometer did you get here? We snuck in the back seat when you weren't looking. You have terrible peripheral vision. And finally, we come to the youngest and cutest member of the Loud Children, Lily Loud. Congratulations, Lily. You're officially Reininger's cutest kid. <laughs> Lily is cheerful, loving, and always loves to be included in her other siblings' antics. But be careful, that glowing demeanor can also hide a much more insidious side, like the time she pranked her entire family. I just got a text from Luann. Lily is the prankster? What? But Lily's right here! And she's such a little cutie! She's a... <laughs> What's this? And that's everyone. Unless, am I forgetting someone? <laughs> of course! How could I forget the pets? Charles is the pet dog of the Loud family. He's a social and very friendly dog, although he can be a bit mischievous at times, too. Pets for sale? Come get your pre-owned, previously loved pets! Cliff is the pet cat and is often seen in the living room, playing in the mud with Lana, or trying to take human food for himself. No, Cliff, that'll make you sick. Walt is the pet canary and can usually be seen in his birdcage. Most of the time, Walt is very affectionate. However, he's been known to hold grudges, too. And finally, we have Geo, the family hamster. Geo is almost always seen in his hamster ball and likes to spend his time with the other pets as well as the loud kids. And there we have it, the Loud House family tree. Lincoln wasn't kidding about having a big family, huh? Be sure to tune in and subscribe for all things Loud House. Normally, I don't care for inane human emotions, but 